all right welcome everybody in this video we are going to make this sweet birdie flyer okay it's very easy to do don't sweat it it's very easy so that was too much of our time let's dive right into it okay we are using the same size which is the instagram portrait size which is 1080 by 1350 okay we have all our elements here so for the background we are using this one and i'm just going to scale it okay and fill the whole background okay that's why they call it background because it's at the back okay so we have this image we have this car i may just place everything randomly then we have this one okay this one was somewhere here then we have and this last one okay okay this one somewhere like this okay i think these are already in the proper scale but not this one okay this one i'm gonna make it real big and i'm just gonna drag it to the middle then this one we're gonna go to the layer structure okay like i've said i like working seeing the layer like this because i'm from photoshop okay photoshop background guys okay <laughs> i'm just gonna scale this one big and place her somewhere here then this one i'm just gonna place her next to the car see if she's walking away from the car okay then let me look at her all design let me see okay we have a duplicate of her here so we just going to come back here click on this first one make a copy position it somewhere here then to get that effect that we saw in that one we're just going to come to the edit folder i mean the edit here and come to adjust and we're just going to take out all the saturation to turn it black then we're just going to play with all these to make it white wash and really give it that vibe i think i'm just going to turn on almost everything here all right okay so we're going to come to the opacity and just push it a little bit down okay so we're going to go to the position now and we're just going to drag her all the way to the back okay i think we have that then we have the flowers down there so we're just going to come to upload and we're going to bring this one we're going to bring this one okay this one we are having two elements here so we're just going to make this first one make a duplicate double click and just bring the other one to the frame and click off okay so we have them separate now so we're going to position this one here then this one we're going to position somewhere here then make a copy okay while i was making this design i discovered something just like in photoshop you can hold on your alt key and drag an element and it's going to make a copy of it okay nice okay so now you can do the same thing from photoshop this is just going to be easy for you so we have this one and we're just going to scale it down and position it somewhere then for this one you notice that this one has another color so we're just going to make that one to we're going to work with the saturation later on okay or maybe we, let's just do it so let's go to the edit um come to the structure here and we're just going to change the color okay this is the color we want to change so we're going to select it and we're going to take the slider and push it toward the blue okay and let's just turn on the saturation so it can be blue 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 okay and the next thing we're going to do we're going to own the saturation i mean we're going to turn it to blur so we're going to come to the blur select the whole image and we're just going to increase the intensity until we get something like this okay and we just click off back and now we have this like this okay and we can let's copy the layer star here let's click on this and paste it on this now we're having the same color but i want to take out that color on this so we're going to come to color and come here come here and we're just going to change these values to zero okay zero come here select all there let's click enter okay we have it back okay the only thing i copied was just the blur okay then for this one we're just going to position it somewhere let me check our design let me see okay it doesn't necessarily have to be of the same size but you can notice already that these elements are small so let's scale this one up let's scale this one up and drag it down then for this one too it's still going to scale it up okay then we're going to pull this at the back so let's go to position and drag this one to be at the back okay this one is going to be a little bit bigger than this one i think it's at the front okay and i'm not sure let me check okay it's not really at the front but this one is really the middle this one is really at the back okay and i noticed that this one was kind of purplish in our previous design 
but there's nothing wrong if we leave it this way so um, I, i'm going to drag this one down so that we can have her leg a little bit there and we can take this car now mm, we are not holding the car so let's select the car from here and we can use our arrow key on our keyboard just to nudge it down okay i don't want it to show that much and we can scale it up i feel like it's too small compare comparing the proportion to to her size okay and maybe we can just take it down so that it look a little bit far from her okay and i'm noticing that it's crossing the hand here so we're going to send the car to the back of this image okay and yep yeah, we have it this way okay and let's turn this one a little bit upward let's crop out this part so that we can have room to scale this one up so that it can be a little bit big so that we can have something like big bigger biggest okay <laughs> yeah we can drag this one down here then for this main image i'm noticing that this one is on top i want to take it down okay i think that's right in the position so we have it this way all right Okay, what well, next? Let me check our design. I just selected all we so we have the birthday and the melody. Then we have these lights okay leaking into our design. So the light here is this one. Okay, this is this element, and we're just gonna put it randomly in our design. Not really randomly, strategically, okay. And let's just crop that a little bit down and crop out the edge. Please make sure that when you're cropping the edge, you don't crop out some part of the light like this because it's just going to show. So make sure you, you're doing a good crop or the best way you can do this just double click on image the crop tool is going to open they just take this square size and just make sure you have a proper um cropping okay so you can have it in square okay so let's position this one here we can make a copy and position somewhere here not really there okay let's drag this one a little bit up and notice this one not big enough and we can make this one a little bit bigger just position it somewhere here to be covering the car we can take down the opacity of this one and we can make a copy and we can position a copy here we can make another copy you can drag it to somewhere here okay i'm noticing that this one is too hard let me take this one down you can always take the opacity down so that it doesn't influence your image too much so that it doesn't um become noticeable because as a goal once it's noticeable then it's no longer working so try as much as you can to keep it subtle let's make another copy here and drag it i want something leaking from the outside this direction okay and just position this here and for the image i think the image is okay i'm picking the wrong thing um i think we're having the image kind of coming to this direction so I'm just going to select this three image or maybe let me just select everything okay i can actually just drag and select everything and i can come to the position here now and just deselect what i don't want so i can hold down the shift key so i don't want to move the background i don't want to move the the this other image here so i can actually just select both of those or i can actually hold down the control key not the shift key to deselect anyone okay so I'm just going to use my arrow key now to nudge everything. Let me just use my arrow here because I'm noticing the movement is not that much. Okay. I uh, just want to center everything. Okay. Okay. For all this text here, we're just going to come to our download here. And let's come back to our design and just click on this. Okay. We're going to crop out these large parts because we don't need it. And we're just going to scale. If you want to scale from the middle, always hold down the Alt key. And it's going to scale from the middle. So we're going to position this one here. And for the name, I think for the name here, which is Melody, the fonts that I use are um, Cinzo. So we're just going to go to the text tool and bring in our text. And we're going to type in the word Melody. Okay. So we're going to come to uh type two here and just search for Cinzo. Cinzo. okay we are using the decorative scenes okay Cinzo decorative just click on it and we just gonna make it big okay this is the bold Cinzo. i don't want the bold Cinzo, so i'm just gonna take this one down and select the regular okay i seem not to be changing let me select everything and come and change it okay nice it's working now so we're going to take this one down 
and we're just going to add a text effect of glow the glow effect so we're going to come to neon and just to give you that feel of everything be light so that you can complement these other shapes or these other lights that are in the design okay we're going to bring in a shape um let's come here and let's just bring in this rectangular shape and for the color we're going to turn it to one sided okay first we're going to change it to one of all these gradients okay just pick any one at random it doesn't matter so we can come back now to the color and come here now we have these two color here so we're going to make both of them white okay take this one white then for this one okay now that we have both of them white so we're going to select again so for one of these one we're going to take out the transparency so that we can have this gradient okay so we're going to rotate this one now make it real big and just position it somewhere here rotate it a bit then we're going to go to position and we're going to drag this all the way down because we want to have that effect of fade on the background okay okay this one won't okay don't mind how harsh it is we cannot always take down the the opacity a bit and and that's it okay so we're wishing melody a happy birthday and one last thing okay the happy birthday that was here so we can take this one and duplicate it make a copy come here and type happy i didn't clear up before typing that's the reason why we're having that issue so we could come here okay you could come here and select this one and just search for libra Libra basket. Yes, this one. So let's toggle this down and take the regular. Okay, we can now scale this one all the way down and just position it somewhere here, small. Okay, and let's use our arrow key or let's just zoom in so that we can move in properly. So let's make a copy. Um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and just take this one. So we're gonna take it all the way up. Okay. I guess you didn't see this on top of our initial design so let's select this and just type the word melody and we're gonna make this one big like this and we're gonna track it okay okay and just gonna position it somewhere I'm, and i'm noticing that our light here seems to be too much so we can come here and just crush it down a little bit okay and the last thing to do now is to work on our image okay we need to do some image editing so let's come to image first let's go to our layer structure so that we can select the right object okay let's select the major image here and just go to image edit and let's go to adjust and let's do our thing okay like i told you before now in our previous tutorial if you can't ever do anything on the image just turn on the vibrance okay and and the sharpness a bit okay this image seems to be a little bit sharp already and i'm just going to work with the shadows i don't i don't like I like increasing my shadows because it makes my image stand out most times and i really don't want to contrast with this image it's contrasting well already okay and what we can do now we're going to copy this layer style just click on this and we're going to come to the layer structure and i'm going to select this image let me select this one again right click and say copy layer style okay i'm going to select this one so in case you are copying the layer style that would be far um, a better way to do that with that i'm noticing our light is covering the car we can shift this a little bit off okay just a couple of changes that i really want to make on the design um the lights that we have i think they are reflecting too much so i'm just going to bring most of them down so i'm just going to select them i think this one is too much so let's come to the opacity and just drop it down a bit okay it's even covering the image here and for this one i think this is working well let me scroll down so it's working well so let's come to this one i think this one is also reflecting too much so let's just kill it a bit okay then for this one this one is also working well then we have this one i think this one is pretty cool but i think i need to bring it down a bit um okay then we have this one here i can't get it i think it should be this one nice so we're just gonna bring it down a bit just like that i just want it to be soft okay not that loud then for our text 
and we're just gonna scale it down a bit teeny tiny bit okay hold on the alt key while scaling so that we have it at least proportional to the rest of the object there okay okay one last thing we're missing are butterfly so we just want to make it obvious here so that it doesn't get lost in that light okay all right so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you find it helpful if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button like this video and if possible share turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye